Five years ago, this papaya tree was still short. We were able to pick the fruits by hand without the picker. This was my cousin Daniel who visited from Philippines and he was able to harvest two papayas that time. The tree got so tall and uh, fruits production is slowing and even the picker is too short to harvest the fruits. But there are shoots or stems sprouting from the tree so Suki, my sister-in-law from Thailand, thought that cutting the top part of the tree will encourage the new stems to bear fruits. So she's marking where we are going to cut the tree. Before cutting the tree, Suki's idea is to tie the rope on the higher part of the tree so that when she cut it, it will not fall our neighbor's side, but on the direction where we pull the rope. Gemma, ah! let's put the rope higher. Higher. higher! higher! Let's do it, Suki! Higher! 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 higher. More! Oh, okay! More! I think yeah, go. Oh, okay. We did it! Yay! Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I think it's too far. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Do you need a sharper one? A bigger one? No. <laughs> I think you want me to get another uh -oh. one too? Uh -oh. yeah. And the bigger one. Okay. We were using the saw, but it was not working, so I'm going to get a big knife. I hope it will work. So Suki's so cutting it because we're gonna so that it will fit to the trash. <laughs> do you want me to do it, Suks? No, I'll do it. <laughs> yeah, I can. I can. And we can ask it to do it later. Oh, but I sure I can do it. No. After how many months? How many years that we want to cut this papaya? Yeah. I think it's good, Suks. Just put that one. You don't have to. No. So. Well, that's how we shorten our papaya tree. Thank you for watching, and please feel free to subscribe to our channel. Have a wonderful day. God bless.